right? You always say that, you know, money follows attention. But how do you guys manage all that attention when you're a couple? You know, I'm sure you guys get a lot of heat. How have you guys been able to manage that when a lot of other relationships kind of fall apart when that kind of stuff happens? We try to have fun. You know, we try to have fun together and we try to live our lives. So we're not, we're not you know, we, we happen to be, we happen to have opinions about things. But, and we're together a lot. So it's natural. We're not meeting most of the time to be together to, for something. So we're being together. And, and, and look, I wouldn't, this wouldn't be as much fun if I was by myself doing it. I would go home, because I, I did it by myself. I would go home and say, God, I wish I had the right person with me. Instead, I had the right person Wait, with me. Wait, are you, you crying? No, no. Oh, why are your eyes open? But I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Are your it's, eyes tearing up? I'm just it's saying. Freaking, it's freaking allergies. me out a little bit. Yeah, it, it's just, it's just. A, it's He's just, crying, I love no, it. No, no, I was, I've been by myself. I was by myself for, from the age of 25, even younger than that, till like 50. Like pounding, grinding, city to city, 50? like trying to build no, a name. No, we were together when you were 45. Okay, 25 to 45. Okay, I was by good. myself. Okay, what did okay. I say, 51? 50. Okay. So, well, because you weren't really with we me do the first five years. We do too. <laughs> <laughs> first good. five years, she was that's still kind of suspect. She that's was in true. and out. You know, you that's guys true. ever have a relationship with the chick's half in, half out. It's not always the guy. <laughs> that's true. And um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been out there where I was trying to, I was getting success for myself, and, and I had no one to share it with. How old were you and became a millionaire? I was 30, I don't know, probably 33. And at that time, it was just lonely all the way until you met Elena. And yeah, got lo- the more millions I got, the lonelier it was. Mm. It's not, don't, don't confuse that with lonely at the top. It's just lonely when you don't have anybody to share things with. It'd be like having a, a big, the perfect pizza, and, and you're the only one that can enjoy it. And you're yeah. like, God dang, I wish my friends were here to eat this. Yeah. Or that perfect ride or that movie, whatever, right? You want to share it with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Totally. And and I, I think that's why a lot of super successful people can't can experience depression if they don't have the right people in their lives. Mm-hmm. Not just a wife, by the way. Totally, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not just about having the right wife to share with. You need a team to share it with. Totally. You need friends and, and people that you can trust that aren't going to stab you in the back and mm-hmm. say something else later. So oh, I love that. That, that 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 to me is the the definition of being rich would be to be to have all these things working not not just r- wealthy maybe money but not not health or i got health but i don't have money right cuz then you can't go any place totally or yeah. you got money and health but nobody to, nowhere to go and no reason to go any place like we 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 pretty much have almost everything working right now. When do you feel like that happened where you guys had it all or it clicked? Obviously there's stuff you're working on, nothing's perfect. Yeah. But when do you feel like as a general majority, like things clicked and you're like, huh, this is really a great momentum we're in here. Certainly when we took possession of the jet, it was like, <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean the first one and the second one, I mean, cause those are trophies. That's when you go, okay, that's, that's something that shows up in the physical universe that says, wow, we made right decisions. We avoided a lot of wrong decisions. We made it as a team. Look, this is a product that can't be disputed now. So when you get, when you etch those kind of trophies into the relationship, those are moments where you're like, okay, we, we're doing it. We're not where we want to be. But certainly, it's a validation of what we've done right so far. I love that. Now, talk, talking about that, like what you've done right, Grant, you're huge on the personal branding thing. Yeah. Can you yeah. talk about in this day and age, and Elena, I know you're killing it too. You got a new course coming out. You got your podcast. You've been blowing up everywhere, inspiring women all over the world. You guys <laughs> yeah, like yeah. literally a And men. Duo. She's inspiring men to yeah. find the right woman. Yeah, no, totally, including myself. You know? Woo! You know? <laughs> you know. But you guys Not Albert's do- brother. Yeah, not. Elena. <laughs> not Albert's brother. Not Albert's brother. If you guys know what that means, let me know. <laughs> yeah, inside joke. Comment, inside comment. Joke. comment, comment below. below. Comment yeah. below. See yeah. if you guys get that one. But um, <laughs> you guys couldn't have done that without building a personal brand. And nowadays, more than ever, it's so important to build a personal brand. So can I just get some insight from both you guys talking to entrepreneurs out there, maybe people who are starting out on um, trying to build their you know, personal brand, trying to get attention, trying to sell their product or service. How important is that in the literal sense for people to start taking action on that right now? You would say it's, it's very important. Wouldn't you? What what to do though? Like I I, th- I think you just got you got to figure out who you are first. Like yeah, if you were starting again, Grant, like yeah, right now, say yeah, you're yeah. mid twenties, mid thirties, yeah, yeah. and you're like, shit, everybody's blown up on social media. I'm getting older. I really need to hang with these people. I got a lot of followers. You want to sell a product? I, w- I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry about that. I w- I'd worry. W- w- I'd worry about figuring out who you are, mm-hmm. who you are in the marketplace. I would not worry about all this other stuff going on. Okay. I would. I wouldn't do much different than when I was 25. I'd bang, I'd bang on, I'd bang, in that case, I was banging on doors. Whatever I'm doing, I need to get great at that one thing because nobody's going to care about your brand if you're marginal. 
If you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now because every week we bring you the very best in personal development content, interviews, and insights to help inspire you to take your life and your dreams and make them a reality. And also, if you want to know how to book dream guests the same way I have, you can check the link below for my top three secrets. So if you have a podcast or a show or whatever it is and you want to collaborate with them, if you click that link below, I'll give you those top three secrets to help you get in touch with anybody. And also, don't forget that The Passionate View is available on media platforms as well. So you can subscribe to the podcast. And until next time, thank you for being one of The Passionate Few.